three-time NASCAR Truck Series champion Matt Crafton. He made a claim that rubbed people the wrong way. Crafton claimed that a female driver would not be able to beat him in a vehicle. Now, Isha, Ben, we know motorsports has been a male-dominated sport. And there is a stereotype that is not reflective of all very inaccurate. And at the same time, I got to say, it, it, well, it is. But to you all, too, it's, how frustrating is it to not only hear one person that races, but a three-time champion, potential Hall of Famer maybe to some folks, Say such an ignorant, baseless comment. Yeah, well, Joe, you know, you've said it. It's it's quite frustrating, um, especially as a female. Uh, it's very, very frustrating, you know, um, to hear it not from just any young, regular, like, driver who's just starting out, you know, then you can always give the benefit of the doubt. But when it's a driver like uh, Crafton, who's a three-time champion, you know, all the things you mentioned about him, it's a really big blow, um, not only to the female drivers who are already in motorsports, but to any young girls that are looking to come in. It makes it seem like a very negative and a very closed off space. Um, and motorsports is, you know, something that has been male dominated for quite some time, you know, since the beginning of it. Um, and comments like these not only negatively impact the young girls who are trying to come into motorsports, but it also gives other people who are in motorsports. Um, the 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 chance to speak out more negatively um or to you know get on the same bandwagon as Crafton and to start saying similar comments uh towards women so i think it's a very very negative um and frustrating comment to make from him and you know in my mind if i compare it to uh somebody who's also like a world champion if we look at formula one right it's like max for stopping telling the girls in the f1 academy to um that basically what they're doing is not worth it because they won't be able to beat him ever. Like, it's a very, very negative comment. And I think a lot of times when people say such things, they really don't understand the impact that it has on um, female drivers and young girls who are looking to get into motorsports. So overall, you know, it's it's very disappointing to see that people are still making comments like this in motorsports. You know, frustration is a good word for it. Um, and I'm not going to say that I'm not angry or sad or upset that Crafton made these comments again. I'm just going to go back to the same thing that I said at Talladega last fall when he got into that fight with Nick Sanchez. I'm disappointed. I'm just so incredibly disappointed because Matt Crafton's 47 years old. Like you mentioned, Nisha, she, he's not a driver that, you know, is, is a 19 year old kid just starting out who, you know, went on social media and mindlessly typed something and, you know, maybe needs to have an experience like that to, know what not to say and deal with the repercussions of that. And then he learns from it and moves on. You know, this is somebody that, and again, you know, how many times has he ended up being a radio sweetheart on radioactive and everything and other controversies that he's gotten into throughout his career. He's somebody that should know better. He's somebody that doesn't have the ability really to play the benefit of a doubt card. Now I know he got on Twitter. I know he apologized, said it was just unjust, and you know, he's a girl dad. And I, I know that the girls can, can get the job done. Um, you know, and, and I guess that's better than just leaving it completely unaddressed, but it still doesn't really, I mean, he can't take back the fact that he said it. Travis Pastrana is on record saying that he said it and, uh, it's, it's absolutely not a good look. And again, you know, Joe, you mentioned potential future hall of famer. I still will go on about this because we don't talk often enough about what Matt Crafton has done in the truck series throughout his career. Not only is he a three-time champion, he has not missed a race since the 2000 season finale. There are drivers in the field that literally have not, they, they weren't alive the last time Crafton missed a truck series race. And if you want to put that into perspective, the longest tenured driver in cup now, now that Kevin Harvick's retired, racing full-time in, in, in top equipment at the very least, is Kyle Busch, who ran uh, his rookie year in cup in 2005. So this record that Crafton has set and continues to set, because it's an ongoing record, he'll continue to add to it uh, as the season goes on here. I think it's as untouchable as Jeff Gordon's in Cup in terms of the consecutive start streak. I don't know if we're ever going to see anybody, especially considering that this is a series where typically young drivers are using it as a stepping stone to move up the ladder or older veterans are coming back to the series after a Cup experience doesn't work out. It's very unlikely that you're going to see somebody have a, a quarter century, literally long career in this series like Crafton has ever again. And as far as I'm concerned, his resume still 
speaks future Hall of Famer potential. But comments like this, it 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 just again, the only word that I can continue to come back to is just disappointment because for somebody who could be such a great spokesman for the sport and for the truck series in particular to get caught up in something like this again, just a few months after the whole Nick Sanchez deal at Talladega, it, it is incredibly, incredibly disappointing to see.